Hey there! Have you ever wanted to listen to music on your computer? I know, crazy idea. But thanks to my new program, you can do that. Let me introduce you to Dropkick Music Player. It was a pretty nice afternoon. I was on my computer, and then I was like, hmm. So I downloaded Python. I know, super obvious. What's Python? It's a programming language that allows you to program programs by programming the program with a program. AKA, you can do stuff with it. I wanted to start off simple, you know, nothing too hard. Like hacking to the NASA headquarters to get behind the scenes footage of the moon landing. So I thought of something useful I could do with it. I was listening to music through YouTube at the time, but since my computer is garbage, the music lagged out often. So I was like, dude, I could make a music player. And so, the quest was on. If you want a video on how the code to the program works, tell me in the comments. I don't want to get this video specifically too long and too boring. Anyways, it's present day, and the program is finished. I could add more stuff to it, like shuffle and metadata reading, but it works fine as of now, and I need to put more focus into working on Boxy Trial, so I'm just releasing it now. With that out of the way, I'll show you how to install the program and what you can do with it. First, go to deskstudios.com slash dropkick. By the way, I have a website now, go visit it at deskstudios.com. The dropkick page has a bunch of text, but who cares about that? Scroll down and you'll find a download button. Click it and then a RAR file will start downloading. It'll take a short time, so in the meantime, let's install Python. Go to python.org and click on the downloads button. Then you can just download the latest version of Python. I made this program on Python 3, more specifically 3.8.2. That shouldn't matter, as long as it starts with 3, it should be good. Once that's downloaded, just open it up. Click on the option where it says add Python to path, that's pretty important. You can then press on the install now option. Give it a bit of time to install. Once the setup finishes, just close the window and Python should be installed. Yay! Now we're going to open up command prompt as an administrator. Don't worry, I won't tell you to delete system32. We're going to install two modules to make the program actually work. When that's open, you can then type in pip install pygame. This is what actually plays the music. Give it a bit of time to install and then when that's done, type in pip install youtube-dl. This is what will let us download stuff from YouTube. Once that finishes, you can just close command prompt. Things are installed already. While we were doing that, Dropkick finished downloading. Just click on show in folder. Next, you're gonna use WinRAR to extract the file. You probably know how to do this already. Open the folder with the extracted files and here we are. Only two more steps left. First, there are two fonts included in the folder. This part's simple, just install the fonts to your computer. Okay. Last step, I swear. You'll need to edit a line of code. For this, you can use Notepad++, Idle, heck, you can even use Notepad for this. Open the file with your editor, and scroll to the 75th line of code. It'll say something like ffmpeg location and then a file path. We need to change the file path to be able to download songs from YouTube. So let's do just that. Go to the Dropkick folder. There's a folder in there called ffmpeg. Click on that and then copy the file path like this. Make sure to paste it on the little quotation things. One last thing. If your file path has these, it won't work. Python can't read those. So just change all of them to normal forward slashes. And that should be it. You can just go to the dropkick folder and double click the dropkick.py python file. That should open up a small console, and after a few seconds, the program itself should load up. If you made it to this point, congratulations, you should feel good about yourself. You can now use dropkick whenever you feel like it. Oh, that was hard to explain properly, okay. So now let's talk about what you can do with the program. When it starts up, it'll take you to the sample music folder included with the download. I included 7 songs in it for you to test the program and kinda get a feel of it. You can click on the song you wanna play, and then you can click on the play button. The program will then play the song and also display what file is being played. There's a volume slider at the bottom of the window, so you can move that, lower the volume if you want.
You can also pause whatever song is playing anytime. There are two modes that you can choose from when you're playing music. One of them is the looping mode, which will just replay a song over and over until you get tired of it and turn it off. The second one is the playlist mode, which, as you probably have guessed, plays the songs in order, so one song finishes, then the next song plays, then that finishes the next song, and so on. You're probably used to playlists playing songs from top to bottom. Dropkick doesn't do that. It goes from bottom to top. You might also have noticed that from the file names, it goes from C to A instead of A to C. So essentially, the entire program is backwards. Now that's definitely intentional and not like me being incompetent at programming and not knowing how- So hey, now that we're talking about like bugs or whatever, you probably noticed that on the playlist mode toggle, it says buggy in parentheses. Why is that? Well... I don't know why that happens. I have no idea how to fix it. <laughs> But you can just turn the playlist mode on if this ever happens, no big deal. This also happens with the looping mode. If you select another song while another is playing, then it'll just get stuck. But like before, you can just turn off looping mode if that ever happens. So basically, when you want to change songs, you should turn off both modes and then just select the song, and then you can turn them on if you want. Just have them off while you're changing the song. Also, if you have this problem where you just can't drag the window with the title bar, it just goes back for some reason, you can click on where the playlist is and then just drag the window around with it. It should work no problem like that. Now let's talk about the features. What can you do with this? Well, you can play all the music files from whichever folder you want. Say you want to play the music on this folder. You can click up here and then copy the file path. Then just go back to the program and paste it in where it says search in folder. When that's there, you can just click update path and it'll show you all the music files you can play. Now let's talk about downloading music from YouTube. Well, just go to youtube.com and say you want to download Stoked, because why wouldn't you? Just copy the YouTube link of the song and paste it right above the download song button. Then you can just press the download button and you can check in the console that it is in fact downloading the song. Just give it a bit of time and then press the update path button to refresh the folder. And the song should be right there and you should be able to play it. Don't download copyrighted music, that's illegal. Trademark. So yeah, that should be it. You should be good to go. I like how the program turned out. I think it's pretty useful. I use it practically every day to listen to music. I think it does its job pretty well. And yeah, that should be all I have to mention. Thanks for watching this video. I know it's not like a lot of my usual content, but I really liked making it. And I made a pretty cool program on the way, so that's pretty neat. Make sure to tell me in the comments if you like this video, I might make more of these. And yeah, now that this is out, I'm gonna go back to working on Boxy Trial. You can expect a new update in the following weeks, few weeks, maybe. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Peace!